our very first brand new feature uh, that is coming in this update uh, which is the new quest system this is something we teased a little bit earlier from our last dev stream and now we get to tell you guys more info about it so basically this system quest system is supposed to replace currently uh, current daily weekly challenges because we saw that many people they were like uh disappointed with this sometimes they're getting they, they they do not have like any control they're getting random uh challenges they can't complete it uh, they don't want actually to complete it so different reasons and uh, different feedback but mostly it was about that they do not have like any control they can't they do not have like any choice for this so uh that's basically the uh, main uh, main uh, main idea why we decided to redo this system it's about uh, the new system it's about more uh, interaction uh, more I mean I wouldn't say more customizable quests uh, because quests will be like fixed but you have more choice which quest you would like to select to complete and get get your reward there thank you for this point uh, it's, it's very it's very important to mention I mentioned a couple of times and I made an emphasis that now we're trying to uh, not uh, approach it in a way like release and forget but uh we trying to improve with uh, with further and future update this system and first release with update 181 will be kind of testing so we will be collecting data we will be looking at the performance of the of the system and we for sure will be looking at the community feedback and see what quests in the future they would like to get uh, what uh, likes what dislike how we maybe need to rebalance it and this system will be improved and this system will will even be expanded and will get new functionality there but but now it's very important to say it once again and i probably will return to this point <laughs> again that it's a test and run so that will be performing on not only on tester of course but on live because we need to see actual actual data and actual performance of the system but it's like it's not something that we will never return to this but we will improve and we will improve and expand the system as soon as possible i can uh, already tell you from uh, like that chat what I, from what i've seen that it is much more enjoyable than what we had previously like the challenges were always just there in the back and you maybe some of you paid attention to it but I, I think mostly at least in my case I just logged in and I got a reward and I didn't even know if I was uh, following uh, the weekly or daily challenge it just like happened I never went to the tab I never checked it out but now uh, this new system basically overhauls everything in relation to that and it's just so much better and uh, so much more user-friendly and interactive so uh, it's it's a really great foundation, but and that being said, let's actually uh, take a look at like how it works. Because okay, can can you already show the screenshot? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I can. Skip it, skip. Yeah. <laughs> Um, we can we can get back to the explanation. So basically, you can see uh, the screen with uh, multiple quests. Every quest has uh, its own value with the stars or whatever the symbols. So and to uh, complete the like weekly quests and they actually called summons in our game you need to collect uh, a sp specific a, sp a certain amount of of the stars and points uh so you need like 30 30 of them and after completing you are getting uh a reward as a, the stars points and also you are getting in-game reward after you uh, collected uh, like 30, 30, 30 points, you will be uh, getting the main reward of this. Like, and then after this quest, uh, all these quests will reset and uh, get mixed reshuffled and you can start over again and also like the amount of stars basically reflect the complexity as well so there will be like simple quests there will be like quests that directed to the like core loop uh pvp so you can basically select what what would you like to uh, to do and how you would like to proceed there very important for example if like some players can uh, complete only like the easiest quest and it gives like for example only one point uh after completing the quest players still can proceed uh, towards the main reward just repeating the same quest. It will not give you the in-game reward anymore because the in-game reward granted only on the first completion, but you still can accumulate the stars points to move towards your main reward. And uh, meanwhile, I already seen some questions to you, but I think we go to the picture so you can explain it there a bit more. So uh, one question was like, can you only have one selected quest or summoned quest at a time? No, you can progress in two selected quests simultaneously or even three if you unlock the third slot uh, with Bloodbonds. 
Awesome. So basically, like everyone have, has access to two quests, they can summon and uh, they can complete those. Basically, what also Bams mentioned at the start, we will move to this later, but uh, the progress and basically which quests are selected now will be presented also in the lobby on the uh, map uh, map screen in the mission. So you, you have an overview on this. It's not something that's happening in the background and you have no idea what you just did. The progress, the selected quests will be displayed. Exactly, so. I can even show. So this is in the lobby. Uh, so you can see the summon quest uh, on the right side of your character. So in this case, two summon quests. And uh, you can also see it in game, as you can see. And I think being able to track these summons in game will also help you stay on track. I know with the previous uh, challenge system, I would read the weekly challenge like once and then, you know, three days have passed and I haven't gone back to that menu. So I have completely forgotten what I was supposed to do. Now, whenever you open your map, you'll have a little reminder right on your left hand side about, you know, what you're working towards to get those stars and get those rewards. And uh, I seen someone saying that, oh, you have to complete 30 quests to get the uh, Bloodbone. It's not the case. As you can see, and Cine already mentioned, every uh, different quest have a different value uh, based on its difficulty from one to, uh, I think it's uh, six stars. Uh, if it's I max, yeah. yes. Yeah, exactly. So if you complete a quest with six stars, then you are already a six out of 30 in your progression. And you could technically have like two or three at the same time. So it's not 30 quests, it's the amount of stars you have to collect. Cine also mentioned that you can repeat the same quest multiple times, but you won't get the additional reward, uh, which you can see on this picture. For example, the very first quest, which is the easiest to extract with one bounty token, you would get an explosive of tier two. If you repeat that quest again and again, you will get the stars for it but not the explosives in this case question i'm seeing in chat is uh, are these quests going to be the same every week for every player or is each person going to have their own each person gets in like so basically we have the pool and then that's reshuffled and you're getting this quest so it can be different from what's your uh partner got i also seen a question that what happens if you select a quest but you don't want to complete it anymore can you cancel it Yes, you basically you can you can cancel quest uh, anytime and select another one so you can reselect it. I think what's happened to me is I'm going to select the extract with 10 bounty tokens and then I'm going to give up after like two days because I've only <laughs> gotten out once. <laughs> Yeah, I also seen uh, some other uh, questions. So is there a way if you don't like one quest to reshuffle them or is it like only will change next week or next Monday? I've mentioned uh, already before that uh, the system is going to be uh, like improved and expanded. So we just need to get initial uh, performance and balancing data how to approach it better but yes in the future we have plans when a uh, player should be able to reshuffle uh, on their own the quest if they doesn't like if they do not like something that they can just reshuffle uh, but that will not be in this iteration because we need again we need proper data to uh, balance it out and also we need to uh, we will create and we will be adding more and more uh, quests to the pool uh, with every update I see that everyone is talking about the two grants uh, you're just Wait a, wait a minute, okay? Yeah, we Shh, should... Don't say anything. <laughs> if we don't happen to get to your questions today, too, like Senia was saying, this is a system that will be evolving and improving as we go further on with Hunt. So if you have an idea, if there's something you want to see with this quest and summon system, please let us know. We have a Discord, we have our social media that we're always keeping an eye out for. Uh, someone again asked how to earn the blood bonds. Uh, I think, uh, Sine, if I'm not mistaken, there's two ways. It could be a reward for a quest, like a singular quest, but also the weekly uh, accumulative reward. So there's it two ways. Uh, and actually, I, I seen another question uh, to you. Is that is the weekly reward always the same or will that change? Currently, we keep it as a blood bond reward. Like uh, it's not, it's not even necessarily weekly. So it's like basically on completion. You you can may maybe complete it in one day. Um, so, but in, again, in the future, we are looking at the ways how to make it more engaging and what rewards to uh, add to the pool. Uh, I saw a question asking, uh, do the quests auto select, or are you able to choose which one you want to do? Uh, you, that's basically the main idea, and I, I'm I'm following the chat, and I see like there are like two two teams. One one pe one team is saying, team of players are saying that like, oh like we want to we want to select it. So is it going to be auto selected? Because I would like to choose. And another another part is saying like, oh I wanted like auto progress there. <laughs> <laughs> so it's kind of like mm, 
one of the team I'm going to make uh, a bit unhappy, but now you will be able to select a specific request. So it's not sequential. It's not something that you start with the first, then second, then third. No, you can actually start with ninth. You can start with fifth. You can select like any quest out of this uh, presented quest to you how to how to progress. So and that was uh, basically the internal uh, and initial idea to give more control to the players and more choice to players. I see yeah. that some more questions actually. So someone asked if your teammates progress cans towards yours. So uh, let's say you have like kill enemy yes. hunters. Yes. 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 <laughs> That's an answer. Yes, yes that's uh, the best answer. Yeah, yes. Uh, another question I've seen, what happens if you prestige? Uh, do your quests stay uh, the same? Pro uh, prog progress should stay... The we, need to we need to check this. Uh <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, progress should should stay. Players shouldn't lose the progress because like it should be similar. How, for example, this event is happening, so it's not it's not resetting any progress. But we need to check on this. Seni, another question we're seeing uh, for the third uh, summon slot is that a one-time unlock or is that something you will need to get every week? Currently, it's a one-time unlock, but again. We will look at the uh, numbers, and we we can't we can't say that it will stay the same. I mean, price will be adjusted, of course, if it's if you need to do this like every week or if you need to do this only once. So, but now the update unlock stays uh, stays for you after you did it, so after you saying, got the third slot. Uh, someone's asking if they have to pay blood bonds to get all the quests finished. Uh, no, the blood bonds that you would pay would only be to get that third summon slot so that you could uh, get a third summon that you're working on in game. If you wanted to earn all nine of the bonus rewards and get all 30 stars, of course, you could do that with just the two default summon slots that come in. You could even even just get it done with only one if you want. Uh, and someone asked about the rewards. Uh, so the rewards are not handlers. As you can see for each quest, it actually tells you in the bottom right corner uh, what you will get. So in some cases, you can see it's a tier 2 pistol, a tier 3 rifle, some handlers. So you'll exactly know what you get when you complete the quest itself. And you will get it on the first completion of that quest. You can also see the summons menu has been moved from where the challenges used to be at the end of the UI. It's actually right after your bloodline progression, so hopefully you'll be able to get to it a little bit quicker in between your matches just so you can switch out which uh, quest you're working on and keep an eye out. But you'll also see it in that lobby screen too, uh, like the next screenshot shows, so you should always have an idea of what you're working on. I also see the qu the. Um question in the chat that like uh, so i need to complete every quest so again you can repeat the quest so you can basically do 30 times the quest summon summon number one 30 <laughs> times and you will still uh progress and complete um complete the like weekly achievement this like and you will get the main reward so if you don't like the summon number one you can do 10 times summon number five so it's not necessarily to complete like every summon each time you can repeat some some uh, summons you can uh you can select all of them so basically it's about the giving the choice so it's up I to you i think completing uh 30 of the summon number one is how i'm gonna have to finish <laughs> this every week <laughs> She actually should do the developer live stream and where oh, you're oh, just no. like repeating <laughs> And uh, yeah, I still see one question asking if you can have the same quest summoned two times uh, simultaneously. Uh, the same, uh, the same summon having simultaneously. No, it's not possible because you need to select two different one in one slot, uh, in in every slot. But uh, then you can repeat again. Mm -hmm. And to quickly address, we have some people asking why we're doing a small Q&A just right here. Um, that's because we're going to be losing Senia in just a second. So we're <laughs> trying to get all these questions knocked out while we still have her, uh, as well as this is a new system to hunt. So there's a lot of different questions. Uh, we would also love to hear your feedback, though, when the system comes to the test server for 1.8.1. Make sure you're getting in there, you're picking off, out your quests, and you're letting us know how it feels, how the progression feels, and, and the rewards, that kind of stuff. Sini also mentioned, like, uh, your feedback is very important for this because this is the feature that 
will be improved upon in the future so it is very important to us to uh, to tell us like uh, did you like this quest would you like to see a different type of quest uh what did you hate about this what did you hopefully nothing but uh, what, did, what did you love about this and uh, that will really help us even if you have ideas uh, how to improve it in the future make sure to leave your feedback after the test servers or even after the live servers because uh as Senia mentioned, even the live environment will be a bit of a trial ground for this. And we will look into all the data collected from that and uh, try to improve upon this and build upon this in the future.